This is a tragic story to say the least. Vitamin K, as I've talked about in another post, is an essential vitamin to give to newborns after birth to prevent bleeding, which again is completely preventable. At the time, Ms. Mullard was a nurse who was acting as a midwife and was attending to the birth of an infant. An independent investigation by the Liverpool Women's Hospital who used a hematologist to look at clotting parameters determined that it was a less than 1% chance that although she stated she gave vitamin K, that she actually did. This all came to light when the infant was brought to the emergency department at one month of age by their parents due to a limp left arm, eye rolling and vomiting. Scanning of the brain revealed something that looked a lot like this. There was extensive hemorrhaging in the brain. This is an image of a significant hemorrhage in white, shifting brain structures over to the right side of the screen. Although not the imaging specifically from this report, this is from another case report in which a baby had late vitamin K deficient bleeding and an intracranial hemorrhage requiring neurosurgery. It sounds like the baby in this case, however, did okay once they received vitamin K at presentation. Watch the news as I'm sure there's more to come on this former midwife.